And this pitch is a pretty ridiculous pitch, too. That pitch goes at least 10 yards. And you can see it just warps the ball out, and I got nothing but green grass out of here. I mean, this is one of the glitchiest run plays in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Sniff the man cheese as always. Got a new offense today. Got a brand new playbook. This is probably going to be my playbook for the rest of the Madden season. It's a very unique one. I'm going into an alternate playbook, an alternate offense, uh, which I know a lot of people that run custom playbook and stuff like that might not want to hear, but a lot of stuff that I plan on showing you guys going forward is in custom playbooks. The offense I'm going to show you today, though, is not. Now, the playbook that I'm using, it should look familiar if you've been following my channel uh, for more than this season. It's the pistol offense. Last year, I put out a lot of pistol plays uh, and I have a lot of new versions and new varieties to show you guys um, if you guys want me to continue this series. So if you want me to continue out of the pistol offense, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as always. The offense I'm going to show you guys today is an offense that I started by showing you guys last year. I'm going to show you guys a lot of run plays, but I have a lot of new one play touchdowns. So as always, if you guys want to see uh, a full breakdown of this offense, you're going to see a part two with some passing plays, uh, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, for right now, it's going to be in my Patreon and on my Join Now community tab. The reason I'm starting Starting off with this particular uh, formation is because it has one of the best run plays and one of the best running schemes in the game. Uh, the power option is the all-star of this particular series, uh, but I also have a couple of really good counter runs like the halfback dive week, which is a very good inside run, the halfback counter, which is a very explosive outside run, and the toss, which is also a very good run. So you really have uh, four good run plays, and if I were to choose a fifth run play, which I'm going to consider a run play, uh, the fifth play, because you can only choose a fifth outside of your audibles, would be the half back slip screen so that's not necessarily a run play but it's definitely a good wrinkle to throw in against your opponent so that would be my fifth play but we're gonna go we're gonna start off with the power option now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors aoh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and help support this channel at the same time i really appreciate you guys for doing that all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now this particular play is real easy there's really no reads involved if it's a if it's a zone coverage i'm typically going to run it as is if it's a man coverage i'm typically going to flip it the way you can tell if it's a man coverage or not is if there's a cornerback on the right side a lot of times when you come to the line you'll see there's no cornerback holding down this edge that's the perfect opportunity to flip and have a very big run but on this particular play you can see we do have a zone coverage um sometimes I mean, there's another option when it comes to man coverage and that's motioning across this guy here if you motion this guy across and be, i mean here it's shift the defense and it still might help out but if you if you motion this guy across and the cornerback follows it will give you a little bit more help getting out to the edge now as far as this play goes here didn't necessarily run it right but we still had success as we're going to get close to 15 yards on a busted play i was supposed to hold that with the quarterback i'll show you guys in the replay here in the past i pretty much flipped it every single time and that's exactly what i did here just by habit but ultimately if this defender here right in front of you doesn't go after i mean i kind of had to because i had a secondary defender come at me but typically you can run with the quarterback if this first defender doesn't come at you so here i, I guess i decided to pitch it probably should have got up behind 83 and he probably would have blocked that guy but like i said told the bus to play and it still worked out because i made a guy miss but the bottom line is you can see how important the pitch is going to be the pitch is simply just going to be hitting the left bumper keep that in mind that's the left bumper l1 if you're on playstation so hopefully we'll do that a little bit better here on this next try as you can see here the force defender comes in much quicker this time and you can see boom we're getting a very big play is if i had a little more wheels i might have had a touchdown there that was still like a 30 yard run so you can see how explosive
explosive this play is, especially if this first guy plays aggressively. The second I pitch that ball out, boom, we're getting about a five yard to maybe more. That's like a five to seven yard pitch. And this cornerback here just over pursues inside. And you can see, boom, it's just a simple sprint outside at this point. I mean, that's what makes this formation so good is you don't have to be very good at running the ball. You don't have to be very good at diagnosing, uh, you know, your blocking or anything like that. You're pretty much going to get outside of every single defense in the game. And I'm still not really getting any man coverages, so we're just going to keep going with this. Once again, get that pitch out. There you can see I got that pitch out very late. I don't know if Miles Sanders is my fastest run back. I feel like I should have got more there, but it's still about 10 to 15 yards. You can see here, when it comes to these pitch plays, you usually get pretty favorable animations. I mean, this is not... Look at this. There's no real reason based off the fact that the, he's being tackled by Mika Parsons. The ball's covered up, and somehow he still gets that pitch out. So just keep that in mind. And this pitch is a pretty ridiculous pitch, too. That pitch goes at least 10 yards. And you can see it just warps the ball out, and I got nothing but green grass out of here. I mean, this is one of the glitchiest run plays in the game. So here we finally get that man coverage opportunity. Like I said, this here, I'm going to flip it with the right stick, not the whole not the whole thing. And you can see, once again, boom, there's nobody out here holding this edge. And now we have nothing but a huge run lane in the opposite direction. We almost get about 45 yards on that run. That's why this is so such a broken play. So you can see how explosive that is. You can see how dynamic that play is. I don't think I have to go over that anymore. And this is the perfect opportunity to switch over to the halfback dive week this is a very good inside run uh based off of the fact that i mean i can really go with any number any number of these runs this is a good look also for the counter uh it's not necessarily the best look for the toss but the counter or the dive will should have a lot of success with this particular look i'll go and i'll go with the counter because we're going for explosive plays here i would probably go with the dive in game but let's try to get some a little more explosive here. anytime you have a spread alignment like we have here where essentially the the down linemen are all pretty spread out either one of these plays should have success now this here you can see the counter there's just nothing but traffic for that defensive end coming in. He just got totally bowled off of that. You can see this defensive end here. He plays aggressive uh, after the first contact. He's got two guys to go through, and there's just nothing there. Once he gets through these first two guys, I mean, look how much space I have. I just have a huge lane, uh, and there's nothing even you know close to me for about 10 yards. So here's another look. Based off the fact that I can tell it's a double safety blitz, we're just going to go with the uh, the inside uh, the halfback dive because I know that they're going to over pursue outside, and if I run a counter, they're going to they're going to be uh, in my face. So let's go and let's flip this, go the opposite way. If we can get past this first level, we should have a lot of success. And boom, like I said, you can see as long as you have spacing, as long as you have gaps, which you will have. Based off the fact that most people are going to be more concerned with this outside run, I've seen this so much when I come out in this formation. People see this this weird alignment, like, oh, here comes that pitch play again. They're going to be spreading their defense. They're going to be trying to stop the outside run. Perfect opportunity just to take this inside. And that can be said for a lot of formations in this playbook. Like I said, hit the like button in the comment section if you want to see more uh, really hard to stop run plays in this particular book. We're going to end this video, though, on the halfback slip screen. This is something, if you have an opponent, a lot of people think that stopping the run means, you know, becoming aggressive. So if you're opponent starts stacking the box uh you know sending too many uh defenders like they come out and start sending the house this is a perfect opportunity for this slip screen. Now, the, the slip screen, that's typically what slip screens are for. They're typically for people that like the blitz. So if that becomes an issue, if they're you know sending too many defenders, just switch it up and hit with the slip screen. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys wanna see part two, some pass plays, some very glitchy pass plays. I know I showed this scheme last year, so if you remember that, you're gonna remember the pass play, but I have a new way to run it uh, because it's a completely different year. It's a completely different way the defenses react. So if you wanna see a brand new, uh, you know, one play touchdown style of pass play against every every defense like i typically do hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below